Okay, I think we're now ready for lesson four, which is ordering numbers. And we're just gonna take what we learned yesterday in comparing numbers and extend it a little bit to compare more than two numbers um, <clears throat> in order to order the numbers. Um, it says at the top of the page, you can use a place value chart to put numbers in order. And um, using a place value chart yesterday was sort of what we did. Um, I said it was my favorite thing to do to compare numbers. And we're just gonna use that same place value chart to order numbers. So let's just hop right into it and go ahead and do example one right here. Um, we're on page 29 in your book if you haven't gotten there already. Um, on page 29, example one, it says, compare the populations of the three cities and order them from greatest to least. And I'm gonna find those three cities over here on this little sign. <clears throat> it says the city of Lowell has a population of 103,299. The city of Cambridge has a population of 101,365. And the city of Boston has a population of 590,763. So I'm gonna take those three populations and put them in order from greatest to least. Pay attention to that, greatest to least. <clears throat> Step one, I'm gonna write the populations on the place value chart. So I'm just gonna put them in this same order. Um, Lowell has 103,000 299. Cambridge has 101,365. And Boston has a population of 590,763. Okay, so step one complete. Step two, start with the greatest place value position and compare. <clears throat> So in the greatest place value position, I have a one, a one, and a five. I know that five is greater than one. So I already know my first number, the greatest number is this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that like that. Then it says compare the digits in the next place. Okay, so I don't have to look at this number anymore because I already know it's the greatest number. So I can go ahead and only look at the first two numbers and it's telling me to compare the digits in the next place. Well, in this place, a zero is equal to zero. Okay, number four says, okay, so I've got step two, I've got step three. Step four, continue to compare until the digits are different. So the ones were the same, the zeros were the same. But I can see in this spot right here that three is greater than one, okay? So this will be my second largest number and this will be my third largest number, okay? And so, I am going to say 590,763 is greater than 103,299, which is greater than 101,365. So in order from greatest to least, um, the order of the cities is 590,000, which is Boston, 103,299 is Lowell, and the smallest of the three is Cambridge. Okay. So all I had to do was place those numbers in a place value chart. I compared the hundreds first and picked out my largest number. I then didn't even pay attention to that number anymore because I already knew it was the largest. Then I compared the tens, they were equal. So then my number in the ones, well, it's the ones placed in the thousands period. So the number in the thousands told me which of those two numbers were greater. And that helped me to fill in the answer. 
Okay, let's do another example together. Move my book down so I can make sure that you can see. Okay, there we go. All right, example two, order the numbers on the cards from least to greatest. This time we're going least to greatest, okay? Um, always pay attention to that because they, they switch it up here and there. So you wanna make sure that you're doing it in the right direction. All right, so it says line up the numbers by the ones place. That means, um, you know, make sure that everybody is in the right spot. and. They gave you six squares for each number, which is great because there's six digits in each number. You can just fill them in that way. So we'll go with the yellow one first, 245,032. The next one is 254,002. The next one is 245,020. Three. Okay, so the first thing I did was make sure that all of my digits were lined up. Ones were lined up with ones, tens were lined up with tens, hundreds with hundreds, thousands with thousands, ten thousands with ten thousands, and hundred thousands with hundred thousands. When using a place value chart to compare numbers, it is super duper extra important to make sure that your place values are lined up because if they are not, it will very easily become confusing for you. Okay. Let's look at the second part. Start with the greatest place value position and compare. So my greatest place value position right here is the hundred thousands. In the hundred thousands, they all have a two, okay? I, just looking right here, I cannot tell which is the smallest number, okay? Each number has a two in the hundred thousands place. So compare the digits in the 10 thousands place. The greatest number in the 10 thousands place is a five, okay? I know that that, if I'm going least to greatest, I know that would be my last number then. So in third place, we, we would have this number, okay? The two numbers that are left both have a blank in the thousands place, looky here. We're looking at our thousands place. Both numbers that are left have a five in the thousands place and a zero in the hundreds place. So I keep on looking to find a different one so that I can tell which one is bigger, but so far I have not been able to find that. So far in these two numbers, I've had a two and a two, a four and a four, a five and a five, a zero and a zero. That doesn't help me at all, so I have to keep going to figure out which one is larger. Then, the second greatest number is, so I'm figuring that out by comparing these two numbers. Which one of those is greater, a two or a three? Well, the three is greater, so the second greatest number is that one. And the smallest number, or first in line, would be this number, okay? Oh wait, I forgot to write in right here that ace, that is the three, okay? So in order, from least to greatest, remember I want the smallest number to the largest number. The, the least number, or the first number in the, in the line, will be 245,000, zero, two, three, 245,023. Sorry, I almost messed up. Okay, then my next number, and I'm gonna make sure I get a good space in there so that I don't get my numbers confused. My next number is going to be 245,032. And the reason I didn't put a comma between here and rather used a big space is because if I put a comma, that might look like one really long number. So I wanna be sure that I get a big space in there. And my third number, would be 254,002, okay? So if I just kind of check through and make sure these are least to greatest, I've got two, four, five, two, four, five, two, five, four. I know that's my biggest one, okay? Um, both have a zero, but then I've got a two and a three. This one is less than this one. I could do this. 245,023 is less than 
245,032, which is less than 254,002, okay? All right, moving on to our last little example that we're gonna do together before you um, head off and do some independent practice. We're gonna look right here at guided practice at the bottom. It says, place the numbers in the place value chart in order from greatest to least. I always like to underline that so I remember what I do, uh, what I need to do. I'm pushing my book up so I can see the whole page. Okay, so I wanna go greatest to least. So the first column that I'm going to compare is the 10 thousands column. And if I look in my 10 thousands column of numbers, they all have a five except this one has a six. And since I'm going greatest to least, six is greater than five, I'm gonna go ahead and write that whole number on that line. So I'm gonna have 63,300 40. Now let me show you something very important here. I have to make sure that my ones place lines up with my ones place. My tens place lines up with my tens place. They gave you an extra column here and I don't want you to get confused by that. None of these numbers have a number or a digit in the hundreds, hundred thousands place. I'm just gonna go ahead and cross that out so I do not get confused you have to stay on the correct place value, okay? All right, now that I've already used the number 63,340, I'm just gonna cross it out because I don't need to look at it anymore, okay? Now I need to look at my numbers in the thousands place. I have a two, a zero, and a six. Of those three numbers, which one is greater? Two, three, or six? Six is greater, so I'm gonna write this number 56,028, because that is my next greatest number. I'm gonna go ahead and cross it out because I don't need to look at it anymore. And now I'm left to compare these two numbers. Oh, I don't even have to move on to the next thing because these two had different numbers here. The six was the largest, but of those three numbers, I can still compare these two. Of these two, 52,482 is going to be the next largest. I was getting ready to compare that four and zero, which I guess still would have worked out, but that wasn't the right way to do it. Okay, so of these two numbers, 52,482 is larger than 50,023. And since that's my last number left, I can just write that in right there. Okay, um, so, that's how you use a place value chart to order numbers. And um, place value charts are very useful, okay? Um, you don't even have to draw all that out as long as you have your numbers and your digits lined up in the correct place value. Ones line up with ones, tens line up with tens, hundreds line up with hundreds, and so forth. Um, I would like to look at this little box here that says talk math. It says, when ordering numbers, what do you do when the digits in the same place have the same value? Think about what we've done when we've compared these numbers when the digits have the same value. For example, if you look up at example two right here, and um, we first looked in the hundred thousands place, they all have the same digit. So what did we do? We moved to the next place value, okay? Moving to the next place value helps you to order numbers when the place value previous to that um, were all the same, okay? Um, if you are in my class, what you're gonna do now is the independent practice. So you're gonna do page 31 and 32. After you do that, you're gonna log into Schoology and you're gonna do the self-check for chapter one, lesson three. If you are not in my class, do whatever your teacher has um, directed you to do. Um, if you're in my class, we will go over some more problems like this tomorrow. Take your time, do your best, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.